well, sorry about that. Part two, I got a phone call. I forgot to turn off my, I usually like to put my phone in airplane mode when I'm doing videos so that things like that don't happen because it will interrupt my video. Anyways, as I was talking about, um, this transformer here, by the way, if you haven't seen part one, um, see part one of this video. But anyway, so the transformer can heat up in different spots. And that's why I put these three, actually four in total thermistors to be able to monitor. Now, in my situation, that's possible. Not everybody's going to have that. Um, I've plugged in a total of five thermistors into the Wi-Fi board. There's six total possible thermistors with two uh, extra ones being monitored by the CPU. So you can have eight in total in the inverter. But if you've got a twin mainboard set up and you want to monitor those over there, you're not going to have as many thermistors sitting on here. Uh, just because you're not going to have enough channels. So I like the idea of being able to really monitor this transformer. And again, it's probably overkill, but that's just me. So, um, yeah, got the uh, the latest Wi-Fi board in here, Revision C. It's doing pretty well. And uh, so let's go ahead and power this beast on. Oh yeah, when those fans run, they run loud. So I do have some calibration that I still have to do on this because this is a fresh flash. We've been experimenting with uh, different, uh, you know, revisions and things and bug fixes and, and whatever. So I do have some calibration that I still have to do yet in order to get this perfect. But speaking of calibration, one thing that we did add here was the ability to calibrate your readings because a lot of these readings come from the PowerJack CPU and PowerJack CPUs <laughs> are notorious for being kind of not so great. So you can actually calibrate this and how you do that is you, you have to have a multimeter and basically you read the voltage at your battery terminals on the inverter. So no wires or no nothing, because there's going to be loss there. If you try to measure it, like, for example, if I try to measure it from my power source way up there, well, it's 54 volts up there, but I'm actually getting uh, less voltage down at this point. But the reading is showing it's set at 55.5. That's what it's showing. So I need to calibrate that down by using a multimeter to check the voltage at the battery terminals. That way I know exactly what voltage is actually coming into the inverter. Make that calibration, that way it'll read properly. And this is critical if you are running a smaller battery bank or you don't want to damage your batteries, you don't want your inverter to drain your batteries too far. And if it doesn't understand or have a proper battery reading, it may drain them a half a volt or even a volt more than you would really like. So you can calibrate all these settings. You can also calibrate the out settings as well because, again, PowerJack CPU, it's not exactly accurate. So you can actually take a multimeter to these two points right here, which is your 220, that's L1 and L2. You read that number, and then you actually make the correction right here as far as what it's actually reading. Then the Wi-Fi board will be able to calibrate that so that when you're telling it, I want 240 volts, it's actually putting out 240 volts here. It's actually a nice feature. You can also do the same thing for amps, although that would require a clamp-on meter. On the front here, you'd have to have a clamp meter while you're running something so that you know exactly what you've got. Um, you could use a kilowatt meter on the 110 here, plug something in that's whatever. You know, It could be 100 watts, but just check it for amps. And then you read this LCD readout, and if it's off by a tenth of an amp or so on, you can actually calibrate it so that you know your output. But I've found that it's pretty accurate. It's not perfect, but it's fairly accurate. So no real problems there. But um, yeah, so we're super excited about the, the Wi-Fi board. There's so many things in here. There's so many different features and it's just, it's it's great. It's, it's really wonderful. And uh, yeah, we're extremely happy with the results. Um, we have these going out. I do have an install video for all 9,000, 10,000, and 15,000, and even possibly 20,000 watt inverters. 
Um, I am working on that, so I'll be able to get that out here pretty quick. But you can order your Wi-Fi board. And, uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, there's a look at my inverter. Again, I am extremely fortunate and extremely blessed to be able to have access to these parts readily. I can remember the days when I would drool over the big old style 15,000 watt inverters that PowerJack had and I thought to myself I would never be able to get one of those and here I've got all the big 15 and 20k inverters that are just sitting around basically and I'm not trying to sound um what I don't know you know what um like spoiled or entitled or whatever but I know what it's like to be in a situation where you're having to deal with what you've got because you can only afford so much that's why I do my best to try to get you the service you need and the parts you need to be able to get back online and not charge an arm and a leg for it. So doing the best I can in that arena because I've been there before. It's pretty nice that it actually does run pretty cool. So I've got, I haven't named these yet, um, but I can tell you that uh, the number two, three, and four and five actually no two three and four the transformer t is also the transformer that's read from the cpu so i got four sensors on the transformer five and six are the two main boards that are on the outside here um you can see where i've got two thermistors sitting directly directly on the uh the fet right there so that's that's where that's at and by the way <laughs> A good point to make right now never reach into your inverter when it's running i know what's safe and not safe to touch these are incredibly dangerous uh, way worse than sticking your fingers in a socket because yeah it can kill you um but uh so yeah i've got the thermistor uh monitoring both of the ac sides of the main board and it's running nice and cool as you can obviously tell so i've got some few settings that i still have to set up but this inverter is ready for service and i am excited to get it up and running and because we've been having some nice sunny days lately despite everything that's going on in the world it's nice to be off the grid and uh, oh by the way you'll probably notice that there's no green leds that are lighting up that's because i removed them it saved me 20 milliamps per hour now <laughs> this buck converter kind of offsets that because the buck converter itself i think uses about 100 milliamps in standby so i'm losing about two amps out of my battery bank per day just with the converter but that is an acceptable loss to me because of what my personal goals actually are so yeah here i went uh, removing the leds off of here to save some power and then adding this here kind of didn't make any sense but anyways that's just me so this inverter is running great and it is absolutely ready for service of course if you are interested in having something like this built just hit me up 833 genetry toll free monday through friday nine to five do keep in mind i am so busy on the phone all the time while i'm doing warranty working with power jack uh building uh, bedrooms and all this other stuff so I am extremely busy right now I'm doing the best I can to answer everyone that I possibly can so just leave me a text message that really is the easiest I know not everybody has that capability I get it but if you leave me a voicemail and you know I don't get back to you within a day or two just send me another call or a reminder and I will do my best to answer your phone calls I, I really do try my best I don't hit ignore or whatever if I'm on the phone with a customer then of course I let it ring. But if I'm not on the phone with the customer and I'm not either going to the bathroom or in the shower or something else like that, then I will answer and I'll try to help you the best I can. So of course, any questions, let me know. GenetreeSolar.com. Make sure you pick up your Wi-Fi board. I promise you, you will be absolutely pleased and you'll be just super impressed with the capabilities of your inverter when all is said and done and I haven't even demonstrated the remote features yet and Sid has been working tirelessly on this project if not for Sid I would be nowhere and Sid is really putting a lot of effort into this project so um, he is really he's he's a good guy and he he knows his stuff he's taught me a lot about power jet converters that I probably would have never learned before so he's doing uh, exceptional in this task so 
uh, props to him. So, yeah, uh, Power Jack, you know, they've, they've come a long way in the past couple of years, and with this, they're really over the top. So uh, I'm glad that we were able to get this board together, and it is ready for launch. I've got Wi-Fi boards everywhere, so order a Wi-Fi board, and I know you will not be disappointed. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.